Hello, welcome to the Keyens IX training module. Today we'll discuss how to configure the first two steps of your sensor setup in scan mode. So let's click sensor setup and get started. In detection setup, you'll want to first place a good or master part under the sensor and configure your settings to get the best image of the part. The first option for detection setup is trigger options. Here you can choose between an internal trigger where the IX continuously scans at a set interval which you can configure here or an external trigger where the IX will scan only when it receives a signal from another device. With external trigger selected, you have the option to set a trigger delay. Say I set my trigger delay for 5 milliseconds. That means the IX will scan 5 milliseconds after receiving a trigger signal. You can also set your brightness adjustment during this step. In most cases, clicking automatic brightness adjustment will be enough to get a good image of your part. However, you can also manually adjust the brightness after your auto adjustment. You can also select your imaging mode, choosing between normal, HDAR, and high gain. Auto adjustment will select this for you automatically. If you'd like, you can change it based on what looks best with your lighting conditions in part material. The cut halation feature is used to reduce glare on a part. At zero, it will not reduce any glare, and at four, it will reduce as much glare as possible. The lighting option is selectable between on and off. This allows you to choose if you want the IX to use its internal lighting. In most all cases, leaving this on is recommended. Under extended functions, you have several options to configure. First, you can set your measurement direction for reverse or normal. In normal, the measurement value increases as the target approaches the sensor. In reverse, the measurement value decreases as the target approaches the sensor. Set this according to preference. Measurement mode can be set to high speed or high sensitivity. High speed will shorten the processing time of a program but be slightly less sensitive to height changes. High sensitivity will do the opposite. Turning on the reduce measurement noise option will lead to more stable measurements, turning it off will show more fluctuations. The measure when position adjustment fails option is fairly self-explanatory. If you have a position adjustment tool set in your program, selecting on will ensure the other tools still measure when the position adjustment fails. Selecting off will make it so the other tools do not measure when the position adjustment fails. Please see the dedicated video on position adjustment for more information on that tool. The display outline setting will take you to the display screen, which will show you a live visual outline of the edges detected by the sensor. This is just used to see what edges are able to be detected with your current detection setup to ensure that the important elements can be detected by the sensor. That's all the options for our detection setup, so let's move on to our master registration. With master registration, make sure your good or master part is under the sensor. Now you'll click register master to bring up a live image of your part. If the image of the part looks good, go ahead and click start master registration to register this as your master part. This is the part all future parts will be compared to as they're measured by the sensor. Next, you have the option to configure your tilt adjustment. You'll see the software explains this is used when the sensor head or target is tilted in relation to a reference surface. I purposefully tilted my sensor head slightly, so I'll click tilt adjustment and we'll see how this works. First, click enable for the tilt adjustment function. For your reference image, you can select between your master and your live image. In most cases, these should be the same, but if the live image seen by the sensor has changed since registering the master, make sure to select master. Next, we'll click reference surface setup. You'll see a heat map is generated showing the detected height of everything within the sensor's field of view. A message tells you to click three places on the reference surface, so let's do that. The table my part is sitting on is my reference surface, so I'll click three points the sensor thinks are at different heights, indicated by their different colors. You have the option to change the size of the points between small, normal, and large. We'll leave ours as normal and then click next. You'll see the sensor now recognizes the entire table as being at the same height. If you need to go back and change your reference surface points, you can click reconfigure. For now, we'll click OK to proceed. There's also an option to enable real-time adjustment. Enabling this will run the tilt correction every time you trigger the sensor. In most cases, this is not necessary. Enabling real-time tilt adjustment will allow you to set your correction limit. This determines how much the measurement of the reference surface can be adjusted. For instance, selecting 5 mm means the reference surface height will only be adjusted plus or minus 5 mm from its original reading. We'll leave this off by clicking No and then select Close. That's all the options for steps 1 and 2, so now you're ready to add your tools. Please view the individual tool videos for information on specific tools. Thank you for watching.